Hey guys, Morgan's Maintenance. Today's tool review is a tool review of a tool for your tool, and it is the no holster belt clip. So I think, I think the idea of their name is you don't have to have a holster like that at my spider tool. It has a holster, and then your driver master from holstery.com are two things that I used prior to getting this. And I'm going to show you all three, how I kind of use them and show you maybe the advantage or dis disadvantage of both of them. But for the most part, this one right here is going to kind of replace all of them. There's only one downside to it to me compared to those. And I'll talk about that in a minute. But it basically is going to work with, it says most brands. They have that it works with DeWalt, Milwaukee, Rigid, Ryobi, Bosch, and Makita. I'm going to show it to you on the M18 and the M12 because that's what I have. Uh, but it essentially is a belt clip, but it also has a clamping action that as you slide it onto something, that springs tight and clamps onto, say, your pocket or whatever it might be. And as you pull it out, you take your thumb and press on that and pull your drill out. And I'll show it to you in use because that doesn't seem like that would make a lot of sense right there looking at it. But I'll show it to you in use in a minute as I compare those. Uh, but one thing that I liked about it up front, other than sticking it in my pocket or on my tool belt or my vest or whatever it is, is I thought about my Vito bag because a lot of times I take my M12 Surge, as you can see it here on there, I would normally carry it like this uh, regular impact here. I might take and slide that belt clip into that small pouch carried into the house. Well, it's just on there, you know, it, it slides in and out. So if I get the moving really quite a bit it might pull on and off and might fall out whatever it is but this i can take clamp that onto that pocket and now it is not coming out of there so i could climb up a ladder with that i'd feel perfectly fine about that wouldn't worry about it one bit so until i press on that lever and pull that out it's not going to come out so if you've got a veto bag and that's how you carry your drill this is really really secure for that and then not only is it a belt clip they also have built-in bit holders in there as well. Uh, they have a grub nub or something like that is their special name for that. And it basically has a little catch in it that catches right on these spots right here. Uh, you can see that also on this M18. So here it is on the Milwaukee M18. So it doesn't really get in your way with that either. So you get some bit uh, attachments as well. They are very tight. I guess that's a good and a bad thing. Uh, they have kind of loosened up the more that I've put stuff in and out. So then that could be a good and a bad thing. So it's good that it holds it tight. It's bad to get them out, but then it's also loosening up over time. So does that mean over time the bits are going to fall out? I don't know. I haven't had them long enough to tell you that. But if anybody else has had these long enough, let us know that down in the comments below. Me personally, I don't really like the bit holders on them because it's hard to get bits in and out of these with the m12 you pretty much got to put them in this way because it's kind of angled towards the drill from the front and it's just hard to get them in and out anyway so i'm not a big fan of the bit holder part of it myself but i also don't normally carry bit holders on my drills anyways you can see how hard that was to get out but here's the benefit of it is the bit holder is also optional so you can take it out it just spins out and then you can take and pull it out. And that kind of makes it a little more sleek than having that bit holder on it as well. So that's probably how I'm gonna always have mine on my M12. I'm gonna take this bit holder out. I left it on there so that you could see it in action. But me personally, I'm not a fan of the bit holder part, but some of you may love it. Uh, that's just me. So this is giving you my thoughts on it. The other downside, at least with the M12 for the most part, is that the add on to the width of your tool. So you know, the benefit of an M12 tool is the being able to get it into tighter spots. Well, this belt clip is going to kind of mess that up a little bit. So it just depends on what you run into on your daily jobs. But again, it's a matter of it's one screw in there that you take in and out the same as your regular belt clip. You can take this off if that's a job that you run into once in a while. But if it's a job where you get into all the time and getting it in, in somewhere tight is something you do every day. This is not the, you know, not the belt clip for you. You need to go with the standard one or none at all or whatever it is. And you wouldn't want this, but just giving you a heads up that it is going to build out your tool on the M12. Now, as far as the M18, it does build it out down here at the base. Not so much up here at the head because that's where your belt clip is. Uh, it doesn't really get in the way of your hands, uh, but it might again get in your way going in and out of some spaces. So 
that's some that's the two disadvantages of it to me is i don't like the bit holder that much but at least it is removable i am glad about that so i think that's a plus and then also the the fact that it's going to add on that extra width but let me go ahead and show them to you you know as far as how i use them so I'm going to show you how I'm going to use all three of these because, again, there might be a certain job where one works better than the other. They all have advantages and disadvantages. Uh, for the most part, though, the no holster to me is kind of the best of all of them. Uh, and I'll show you as we go. The only, again, downside is the thickness that it adds onto your tool because any of the other ones, I'm just using the tool as it is. So that's the one downside. So in space, in times where that space doesn't matter, this will always be the one that wins out to me for multiple reasons. Uh, but again, you get this clamping action and on their videos, they show a person putting it basically in their pants pocket like that, letting go, and then it's not coming out. And I mean, I literally think you'd have to tear your pants or cut it out or do whatever without releasing that. It gets that much clamping force. Uh, me personally, I don't wear my drills in my pants pocket like that. I feel like that's too low. I'd always be doing this to bend over, but I think it's because of my pants just fit lower. Uh, but I do see people a lot that they wear just this belt clip right here that's on your, your standard belt clip. They'll walk around with that slid down in there, work the whole job that way. Maybe they'll put it in their back pocket, whatever it is. Me personally, I just don't trust that little maybe inch and a half at the most, inch and a quarter probably, uh, to hold that in because just one wrong move You've got a Phillips bit that's going into someone's hardwood floor or you're working off of a ladder, your tool falls down to the concrete and it's done or you hit someone, whatever it is, it's not worth taking that chance. I like to have the secureness. I've usually normally used that spider tool holster for that, but now I prefer the no holster for multiple reasons. One is it's for this vest, works extremely great because every little web that I have uh, every single spot, every pouch, whatever. That's the same as this pocket right here. So even though I wouldn't wear mine in my pants pocket like that, I will wear it on my belt whenever I'm wearing my belt by itself. But then whenever I wear this vest, I got so many attachment points that this works really well on. And let's say I'm holding up something with my hand and I'm using a drill, but then I also need to put this drill down to get a screw or whatever it is. I don't even have to go all the way down to my pants pocket and put that in. I don't have to go to my belt. I can easily just clip that right there on that pouch. And that's just as secure right there. It's not coming off the same as it wouldn't be in my pants pocket. But I could also move it on these webs. I don't even have to wear a belt if I didn't want to because that's pretty much a perfect position for me. But then also, if I'm working somewhere and I can't have anything, I'm pressed against the wall or inside some kind of stud bay and I need to move this, I can just move it over here to this side and then I can just move it around and wherever I put it, it's not going anywhere. And again, that's the advantage to me, as I've mentioned before about this vest, but it could be the same for you if you work out of your pockets and you don't need it on this side because you got some finished work over here that you don't want to hit. You know, it wouldn't be real easy to get it in and out of your pocket like that because it's going to be backwards at that point, but you could still do that in the times that you need to or on your tool belt clip it on your suspenders, whatever it is. I just think it's a really good option, the fact that you can do that. And then another benefit is it stays secure and doesn't move around versus, because that's the one thing to me that's the disadvantage of the spider tool holster. There's two disadvantages of it compared to this. The advantage is you're not adding width to your tool. The disadvantage is, you know, it's still secure. It's not going anywhere. It's the same thing as this. It's, it's not going to pop out on me. I could be upside down. It's not going to go anywhere, but it spins in a circle because it's on that ball and it's not going to spin like that while you're working, but it does move around a lot and do things like that. Sometimes that can get on your nerves. Most of the time it's not that bad. And again, I wouldn't normally wear it right here. I just did it so that I could have all these on at one time. Uh, so that's the disadvantage. One of them to me is it doesn't stay in place like what the no holster does. And then the biggest thing is in order for me to move this around, I'd have to either put multiples of these bases all over my vest, or I'd have to unhook this, pull it out and move it around. And again, sometimes if I'm doing that one handed, that's not an option. So I feel like the no holster is the best version of the secureness 
I mean, as far as what that goes, as long as the space intrusion isn't going to be a problem. And then the driver master, uh, for the most part, it's no different than you just putting this belt clip in your pocket, other than it does kind of click in place. So like it, it's, you have to at least put a little bit of effort when you pull up, but still, if you're climbing down a ladder and you hit something on this, it's going to pop out. Or if you bend over all the way in a complete to where it goes upside down, it's gonna come out. So it's, it's not secure at all. What that works good for is if you're just, you know, doing install of something that's at the height where you're not gonna do a lot of contorting yourself, whatever it is, it's, it's the easiest to get your tool on and off of because it's a matter of just pulling up and down on it. So there's no little lever that you gotta hit your thumb on. There's no clamp that you gotta clamp, unclamp, but it's not secure at all. But so just depends on what you're doing which one's gonna work the best, but I feel like this no holster for me is gonna work better out of the three, probably 90% of the time. So I think that's which one I'm gonna go with most of the time. So yeah, guys, that's the no holster along with the grub nub bit holder. Again, the, the bit holder is not for me. I just don't like the extra added on to it and I'm not gonna use it. I, I personally don't feel like pulling those bits in and out like that all the time, but you may love it. And so that's up to you, but they give it to you and it's removable. So I think that that's a great option. And I went ahead and bought a five pack of these. They're 60 bucks for five. Now you can buy a three pack for 45 and then one of them is $24. You can only get them on their website as far as I can tell, but I knew I wanted at least two. And then I thought, well, I'm going to go ahead and buy a three. And then I thought, well, I might as well buy five because I've got one buddy of mine. He always wears his with this belt clip right here in his pocket all the time. I see it almost all the time whenever I'm on his job sites. So I'm gonna give one to him. And I thought, well, if I'm gonna get four, I might as well get five and give one to you guys as well. So comment down below. I'm gonna send out one of these to somebody. Uh, I'm gonna pick a random comment uh, as far as it's gonna be the same generator I've done on the last. But in your comment, if you wanna be in the drawing for this, just put in G-R-U-V-N-U-B. That's what the name of this bit holder is. I just decided I'm going to do that because I'm going to um, pick a comment, but I'm also going to do the criteria of no duplicates. So, you know, only one entry per person. And then if you want to be in, make sure and put exactly G-R-U-V-N-U-B in your comment because I'm going to put that as a search criteria and I'm going to send out one of these to you guys as well. So let me know in the comments below if you guys have this. Again, I don't know how old it is, how long it's been out. I don't think it's been out long. Let me know if you've been using how well it's worked for you. Let me know if you use the Spider Tool Holster, if you really like that, or the Driver Master, or something else totally different. Because, you know, who knows? There might be something else out there that I don't know about. And it's good for us all to know what's available for us. But hope this was useful in some way. But you guys stay safe. Have a blessed day. And I'll see you on the next video.